During this time, when I was a criminal, all right, I had a best friend. Now his name was Angry Anton. Not a clever nickname, all right? <laughs> Just an angry guy. You know, sometimes you meet people and they're like, nickname is Little John, but they're seven feet tall. And you're like, oh, that's cute. It was not that, okay? <laughs> It was just lazy, lazy nicknaming. He was just angry all the time. He was very scary. He was bigger than me. He was way more heavily tattooed than me. And I know a lot of you are like, how is it even possible to be more heavily tattooed than you? His entire face was completely covered, 100%. So he was basically like if you got a second grader and you pulled them to the side and you're like, draw me what you think a murderer looks like. And then they drew him and you'd be like, that is way correct. That's so correct. That's so scary. Where are your parents, you know? He's so scary. Just a few stories to like reiterate how scary he is. Once we were at a restaurant and we were in the bathroom and in this particular restaurant, they had like an area where all their toiletries were where you could just get to them and we were stealing them, okay? Cause you know, we just, we wanted toiletries, we're not gonna pay for them. So we have a backpack and we're stuffing like toilet paper and soap and all this stuff, we're stealing. A uniformed police officer walks into the bathroom while we're stealing, sees us, Anton stands up, says, what's up, to the police officer, and the police officer said, excuse me, closed the door, and left the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, eventually I was like, I gotta get out. And so when you get out, the government helps you usually. You have to cut ties with your friends, your family, everybody who has any tie to that lifestyle, okay? And move on, and usually the government will give you a job to help you move on before so that you don't end up in prison. Sometimes the government lets you work with disabled kids, all right? Yeah, I know, they should change that. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out for me, but I feel like maybe not so much for other people. And <laughs> so I have this new job. I have this new life. Now, uh, Anton was a bad person. Objectively, yes. I agree with all of you. He was a bad person. But also, he was always good to me. He was a loyal friend. I'd known him forever. I couldn't get rid of him. I kept him around in my life just a little bit. Just talking to him through emails, being his friend, okay? Trying to be there for him. So I'm moving on with this new life, it's like a year later, and I'm working at this facility for disabled kids, okay? Now, working at this facility, I worked with a lot of Christian people, I worked with a lot of LDS people, Mormon people, and they're all like really jazzed up to work with me. All these upright, good people, and then me, you know? And they're just like, oh man, isn't Shane cool? Knowing about my past, like, he says the S word sometimes. <laughs> Crazy, you know? 